welcome to the Photo Rangers quick field editing video tutorial. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pop the SD card straight out of the camera and we're going to copy those images onto the phone. What I'm using here is an SD card to lightning adapter for an iPhone. This is an Apple version but you can buy these at the $2 shop. Plug it into the phone, go into my photos and I wait for the images to appear on the screen. There they are. They're reading them right off of the SD card. I'll choose the ones I want and tell it to import. And there we go. It imports the image. Tell it to keep the images on the card. Don't delete them. Disconnect the device, the dongle, and put the SD card back in the camera. So now we've got our images, our image, on our um, phone, and we're ready to go. Okay, we've got our photos on the phone, and we're going to use the Snapseed Photo Editor to, uh, to do a quick field edit of our photo. So we'll open Snapseed. There we go. Now, we'll open the, the photo that we want to edit. Open. Open from device. Go to the camera roll. Right there it is. Okay, so that's the one we've just taken. Now, normally what I do is I, I click the little edit button down in the lower right corner, and you'll notice that there are a number of tools and a number of filters. What I do straight away is go to Tonal Contrast, second one on the left column, and when you touch the screen, you get a, a dialog box come up with a number of options. Low tones, mid tones, high tones, protect shadows, and protect highlights. Go to low tones, let go, then I swipe my finger to the right. And if you notice on the bottom, I'm going all the way to 100. Then I go to mid tones. Again, I move it to 100. And the same thing with high tones. And I move it to 100. And then I click the little check box in the lower right corner. Done. Okay. So the next thing I'll do is I'll click the edit button again and I'll move back to the tools and that top left tool, tune image, I'll go to that one. Again, I touch the screen and I've got lots of options here. Brightness, ambiance, contrast, saturation, shadows, highlights and warmth. First thing I'm gonna do is go to ambiance, the second one in the menu. I'm gonna move my finger to the right and you see the photo kind of pop up there. It looks quite good. I just move that until I'm happy with it. So 73 is fine with me. Next thing I'm going to do is I notice it's still a bit of shadow in this photo. So I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to... Now you just see I've lightened it a little bit. I've brought the shadows up to about 30 there. You basically do it until you, until you like the look. And I might try just a hair of saturation. Give it a little bit of saturation tweak there. Um, maybe a little bit of warmth. Not much. And maybe a hair more contrast. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'll click the check mark. Now, there's lots and lots of tools here that you can play with. Um, those two are the ones that I always use and they're very, very quick. The other thing I'm going to do to this image is the top right tool called Details just going to give it a little bit of, again, we touch it, we get structure and sharpening. I'm going to give it a little bit of structure. Okay, not too much. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm not sure if my horizon's straight, so I'll go to rotate. And using my finger, I can move this image around. I get it to where I try to line up that horizon, uh, the waterline there, to be straight. That looks about right. Okay. I think I'm finished here, so let's save this, and I'm going to save a copy so I don't overwrite my original. And what we'll do now is we'll go back and compare. We'll open up photos, camera roll, so there's our original image straight out of the camera, and there's our edited image, ready to go on Instagram or Facebook or any other social media. Very, very quick um, and made a massive difference in that photo. 
Now what you will find is that this type of editing won't be near the quality that you'll get in Lightroom, nor do you have the type of control. But if you're out running around, you're out in the field, or if you don't have Lightroom, this makes a great option. All right, enjoy. Can't wait to see some of your photos. Take care.